tried solving the following problem. We want to solve it by graphing. And it's nice that these are both in standard form. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to note that both of these, when we set x equal to 0 for both, the y-intercept for the top ones can be negative 4, and the y-intercept for the bottom ones can be plus 1. So looking at this, plus 4, or excuse me, negative, one, negative 4 and a plus 1. So it looks like actually the only one that fits that criteria is uh, part C, but let's go further. So let's plug this in for the system of equations. So we got negative two. So y is set to negative two, uh, x is equal to six. That's where they intersect right here, um, down here. So that's, that's the solution to the system of, of equations. But let's keep going here. So negative two is equal to three times six minus two, oh, excuse me, minus four. You know what, I just realized that's not going to work. It is correct that they both intersect there, but I, yeah, I made a mistake. That this, actually, this has got a slope of 3. I'm sorry about that. So actually, it's going to be this one, and let me explain why. So the slope, or so the y-intersect for the top one is at negative 4, and it's got a slope of 3. So this matches up uh, rise over run. So for every 3 it goes up, it goes over 1. So in this case, the uh, intersects at 1, negative 1. So let's try this. So 1 is equal to 3 times 1 minus 4, which is equal to negative 1. And then 3 minus 4 is equal to negative 1. So that works. And for the bottom one here, so it intersects at 0, comma 1. And it's got a slope of negative 2. That matches up. So negative 1 is equal to negative 2 times 1 plus 1. And it ends up being negative 1 is equal to negative 1. All right. And that's how you match these up. So, all right. I hope this helps you out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.